So because I wrote the uh, prescription, I just thought I should just teach you prescription writing. Okay, so prescription writing. Prescription writing. So as you all are aware of, I expect everybody, every one of you to be aware of the fact that in June, prescription writing was tested. And then, so it is very essential that you know how to write prescriptions, okay? It is very essential you know how to write prescriptions. Now, usually prescriptions are written for medications, okay? Prescriptions are written for medications. Prescriptions are written for medications. Sometimes not for medication, but for some, um, I mean, intervention. Sometimes you write a prescription for a chest tube. So prescription is actually um, a medical writing. That's what, um, I mean, gives the bearer of that paper, the license to get any tool which is necessary for what? medical intervention so that sometimes you write prescription for chest tube sometimes you write a prescription for um sometimes what else what else what else chest talking sometimes you have to write prescription for it okay so but the most common sometimes you have to even write prescription for syringes if someone goes to the pharmacy shop that he wants to buy a syringe they won't sell it for him because for all they know this patient is going to abuse iv drugs but if he has um, um, a prescription that says that you should give him the syringe. Doctor says he has diabetes, he has to be injecting himself. Then they can serve it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, usually for prescription writing, um, you have a paper like this. Okay? Usually, this is how it is paper like this. For most hospitals, let me reduce it. So you have the name of the patient. The patient's name is here. I don't like using this font. Too. Okay. So usually you have the oh the name of the patient. Patient's name. So the demography, the patient's age. Then the patient's sex. Okay. Then you have the date you are writing the prescription. And then the diagnosis. Why you are writing the prescription. You have to fill everything. But sometimes unknown to you, you may make a mistake. Imagine writing anti-malarial at a metal and then your diagnosis there is uh, um cellulitis then it can help the pharmacist to what prompt you that is pharmacovigilance okay prompt you that oh doctor you your your diagnosis is this but you are prescribing anti-malaria any reason why so your diagnosis should correspond to the prescription you are come to write do you understand yes sir. then no. you write your prescription i'm going to teach you how to write a prescription but you write your prescription and after writing your prescription, you have to cross this. Let's say your prescription filled this. You have to cross this. Because if you don't cross, someone can also add something which you didn't prescribe. So right after writing the prescription on the prescription pad, you have to cross it. And then here would bear your name, the name of the doctor or the name of the prescriber. And then, um, I mean the hospital and then your signature and maybe you add your stamp you understand so you fill the patient's name fill the patient's age the patient's sex the date The diagnosis, diabetes mellitus, and then you write your prescription, maybe metformin. You write the prescription, and then right after doing that, cross. Okay. So what goes into prescription writing?
what goes into prescription writing? You think I thought that also? Um, I mean, I, I dealt with that in one of the files I sent you. When I was answering the file that contains the GMDC June uh, exam solution. That one I, I've not posted on YouTube. I won't, I won't post it. I just posted there on Mad Oski on YouTube. But that one, I think I, I solved it. Good. So, prescription writing. Prescription writing should contain... The first thing that should come is the formulation. Formulation of the drug. The drug formulation. Okay. Formulation of the drug. Then the name of the drug. Then the route of administration of the drug. The route of administration or the route of administration of the drug. Then the dose of the drug or the dosage of the drug. Then the dosing. The dosing is the frequency, okay? So two times daily, once daily, four times daily. Six times daily, five times daily. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Then, then the number of days or the duration the patient should be on the drug for. Duration of therapy. Do you understand? Now, what do I mean by formulation? So the yes. drug formulation is what? The way the drug comes, okay, how, how the drug has been packaged or how the drug has been made, okay? So we can have tablets, isn't it? Some drugs are tablets, isn't it? Some drugs are capsules. Yes, it is. Some drugs, can you hear me? I've, I've, get, I've gotten an... an, an uh, a signal that my internet uh, my internet connection is not working. Um, can you hear me? Stop. Yes, sir. Okay. So capsule. So you yes, have a tablet. Come again. We were saying we could hear you. Okay. So tablets, capsules. Sometimes some it can come in syrup, suspension. Okay, so that's the formulation of the drug. So as, as examples, you have tab. So you should learn how to write in short two. Okay, you don't have to write tablet paracetamol. No. For example, tab paracetamol. Okay, tab paracetamol. Tab lisinopril. Tab Nifedipin. I know by now someone is asking in his head. So how would I know that it is tab or it is capsules? They will tell you, okay? Capsule, cap, omiprazole. Is that okay? Syrup, yes, syrup, lactulus. Are we good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then the next thing is what? The name of the drug. I think the name of the drug that I've, I've dealt with it. So the next thing is um, the route of administration. If you've been watching American movies so much, you'll see route. If you've been watching British English, uh, British movies, you see route. And how would you pronounce it if, you, if you've been watching Kumau? Yes. <laughs> Karen. Root route. Root route. I didn't root route. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say root? <laughs> I'll say root. Yo. So the route of administration, it can be oral. Okay. So peros. Oral. It can be um, intravenous. Okay.
So sometimes the oral it is written as P O peros intravenous IV. Okay. There it can yeah. be intramuscular. It can be intramuscular IM. It can be subcutaneous. S. Are we good? Yes, I, I, I don't want to go. I don't want to go further. Now, for the formulation. Okay, you, you let, let, let me go. Now. I'll give examples and I'll explain to you why there are there are there are vary uh, it varies so it comes to the dose so the dose it can either be in what milligrams the units can be milligrams grams maybe in mil okay and also grams it can be international units okay so you have for example 10 milligram one gram 30 mil. Not 30 mil. So. It's 30 ml. Say a cook button on a cotton. Say a cotton on a motor. 750 ml. Say what you say. A man throws 750 ml. Yo. 30 ml. But 30 ml. But the symbol is ML. Yo. Then you can have 10 IU or 10 international units. Do you do you understand? Yes. yes then you have the dosing or the frequency. And this is where we use the Latin, the Latin, the Latin. Uh, I mean, we've been using Latin peros perectum and all that so the dosing if you are going to give it just once like initial dose just a start dose okay let's say you are just giving once but nothing else what you say is start so assuming i am giving uh maybe um paracetamol or maybe I'm giving uh, aspirin. Let's 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 make that. I'm giving aspirin, 300 milligrams, just once because someone has an MI. So I write tab, write the formulation, isn't it? In the name of the drug, aspirin. Oral. Then the dose, 300 milligrams. Start. So when you read this, it means that the patient is what? Getting a tablet medication. He's not going to put it in his rectum. He's not going to put it per vaginum. He's not going to put it in his nose. But he's going to put it in his mouth and swallow it. Of course, I should mention that sometimes drugs are the root of administration. Although it is oral, some drugs are given what? Uh, are put under the the tank okay so that is sublingual okay sublingual is that okay yes, sir. once you mention oral it means that the patient is going to swallow it so tap aspirin into bracket oral um 300 milligrams starts that means it's taking just once okay so that is the meaning of so a start dose is actually just an initial dose and nothing more an initial dose then if you are giving the um medication let's say two times a day the patient is taking it two times a day it is bds or bid i've forgotten the latin the meaning but when you say bds so bds or bid or bd it's a Latin. It's a Latin. Hold on. Let me let, let me just 
but I, I don't think you should keep it in your head. I should know that BDS or BID or BD means two times a day. So BDS meaning medical. Okay, now then. Let's say bodily distress syndrome. Description. So hmm, you you will you will even be um, annoyed if I tell you the the meaning. So I think I, I should probably skip. But you let me just tell you this one for once. The the ones I'll, I'll skip. The meaning is bis die sumendum. When there is hair city scan to interpret, you think you, you want to keep this in your head? No, don't. So BDS or BD actually means what? Twice daily. Twice daily. Then if you are giving it once a day, we typically write OD. OD would mean what? Once daily. So you take it once daily. So if I write tab lysinopril oral 10 milligrams once daily. Do you see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we have CDS or TID means what? Means three times a day. I should be quick to mention that some 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 prescribers instead of writing a uh, BD or uh, those things, they write 12 hourly. When they write 12 hourly, it's the same as two times a day, isn't it? Yes, it is. When they write this one, they can write eight hourly. Isn't it? Then four times a day will be what? Six hourly. That is QID. Yes, QID. Yeah. And that would mean four times a day. Four times a day. Four hourly. Please take note. Four hourly does not mean four times a day. Four hourly means what? Six times a day, isn't it? Every four hours. Isn't it? Yes. Yo. Now, sometimes there are, some, there are some drugs that you give the patient to take whenever he wants to take it, okay? When needed. You, you are prescribing the drug for the patient to take when needed. When needed. As and when needed. Then what you say is PRN. Once you write PRN, it means the patient should take it as and when he needs, when needed. If you are saying that the patient should take it um, at night, patient should take it at night, that will be nocte. So if I say tap, let me say, if I say tap atovastatin. Please, what is atovastatin? Come again. 
What is an atoma statin? It is a statin. Yeah, of, course, of course, it's a statin. But what is it? Atoma statin is a statin. Antilipid drug. Antilipid drug. Okay, so tap atoma statin all around. Now write 40 milligrams nocte. It means that he is taking it at night. Now, if I want him to take it in the morning, then I would say money in the morning. Do you understand? Yeah. You. Then the next thing is what? The duration. So the duration of therapy can be what? Written in days. He's taking it for some days. Or he's taking it for some weeks. Or he's taking it for some months. But nobody prescribed a drug for a year. So days, weeks, months. So what we do is that we use that um, poem, um, the kind of thing. 60 seconds make one minute, 60 minutes make one hour, 24 hours make one day, 7 days make one week, 52 weeks make one year, 365 days make a year, 366 days make a leap year. Okay, sir, poem. And now, oh, one course has been. Okay, sir, poem. And I owe two thousand, you know, two thousand. Then stress up poem. Into 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 a two things. It does say I owe two thousand after two thousand. And I say, you can't say one course has been. Debbie, Delali, did you go to that school? No, please. Hey, so. What were they teaching you? No more copy has a farm. Yeah, yeah, oh, or they were teaching bunch, bunch, bunch. Which of them? The first one. I oh. see. And then, and then you, you didn't, you didn't hear the, the sixty seconds make one minute. Or, or your math teacher was not there. Okay, good. So, because we know that seven days make one week. When I write one over seven. The seventh day tells me that what I've written is what one day. You get it. Yeah. When I write three over seven, I mean what three days, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and, and then we know that fifty-two weeks make a year. So if I write two over fifty-two, anybody who who reads the prescription knows I'm talking of two weeks. When I write 5 over 52, anybody who reads the prescription knows that I've prescribed a drug for 5 weeks. When I write 4 over 52, anybody who picks up the prescription understands that the doctor has written um, uh, 4 weeks. And months, how many months make a year? So wow. when I write 3 over 12, everybody who picks up the drug, uh, the prescription knows that I have written for three months. When I write a TB drug and I say six over 12, anybody who who who, who, who picks it up? Would know that I've written for three months. Do you understand? Yes, though. So let's add everything up. So for the prescription pain I was saying, Please hold on. For the nimodipine prescription I was talking about, I said a patient is going to be on it for 21 days or three weeks. So I can write it this way. Tap nimodipine.
orang 60 milligrams four hourly times three over 52 then You see that? Yes, sir. You see that I'm say, oh, true, doctor, and I'm come home because because of people like Baumia. You, you, oh. you, you, <laughs> you, let's, let's, what, because of people like Baumia, just, just add the med. So that when, when the quote says, when the quote says, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and when, when you quote your doctor med, then you know that no, you guys, you are, you are different. Because in some of the people who Good. So, can we try prescription writing? Everybody, can we try? So, you you would write it and send it to me via my DM. Is that okay? Okay, doctor. Yes. Okay. So, um, a woman has been diagnosed with diabetes mellitus. Okay, and then he, she should take a uh, metformin. She should take metformin tablets. Um, 500 milligrams twice daily. For two months. Please write a prescription for the woman. Okay. 